Welcome to our second podcast in our series, Marianne's Musical Soirees. This episode is entitled, Frédéric Chopin's Unpublished Works. I am your host, Jane Knox, and I'd like to introduce Marianne Kipora. Thank you, Jane. There is a backstory to Frédéric Chopin's unpublished compositions, one being that Chopin confided to a close friend on his deathbed that all of his unpublished works were to be destroyed. Burned, that is, as he had not had the chance to do his usual due diligence editing these to his total satisfaction as he had with his other published compositions. Had this happened, these destroyed works would have, among others, entailed what we know today as the Opus 66 Fantasy Impromptu, eight mazurkas from Opus 67 and Opus 68, five waltzes from Opus 69 and Opus 70, three polonaise from Opus 71, a nocturne Opus 72, and a rondo for two pianos, Opus 73, and most of his Opus 74 collection of songs for voice and piano. And there were other valuable works as well, which he ordered to be destroyed. Thankfully, that did not happen. Chopin's sister Ludwika, being next of kin, held sway over what would become of those unpublished compositions. Ludwika and the Chopin family had legal rights over these compositions, and Chopin's fevered whisperings to a non-musician friend to destroy those compositions into oblivion went unfulfilled. We just heard the waltz in F minor, Opus 70, Number 2, composed in 1841 and published posthumously in 1855, performed here by Marianne Kipora. Marianne, the legacy of these unpublished works goes on. It does. Ludwika became concerned about what would become of those unpublished works of her brother Frederick, so she approached Chopin's longtime associate, confidant, and musical copyist, Julien Fontana, a fellow Pole of Italian heritage. He would become Frédéric Chopin's personal assistant for much of Chopin's life. Frédéric Chopin entrusted so much to Fontana during his fruitful lifetime, including even business dealings with publishers. Fontana, with a written permission of the Chopin family, would become the musical executor of those unpublished works, and refinished them under his own edition and assigned opus numbers to them. Here is another example for the unpublished collection, the Mazurka in C major, opus 68, number one, composed in 1829. An early composition of Chopin's, published posthumously 
in 1855 by Julian Fontana. That was the Mazurka in C Major, Opus 68, Number 1, performed by Marianne Kipura. Having spent innumerable hours around Frédéric Chopin, Julien Fontana became immersed in every aspect of the great composer's life, even noting that Chopin rarely played one of his compositions the same way twice. Fontana was a Renaissance man in his own right. He was a pianist and composer, a lawyer, spoke several languages, a professional translator and an entrepreneur who spent enough time in America to get married and become an American citizen. So the unpublished works of Chopin were in good hands and brought to life and given to the world thanks to Chopin's sister Ludwika and his loyal assistant Fontana. The mazurka in F major, not often performed, will now be heard. The Opus 68 number 3 composed in 1829 and published posthumously in 1855. It is performed by Marianne Kipora. That was the Mazurka in F Major, Opus 68, Number 3, performed by Marianne Kipura. It was a tremendous labor of love and devotion by Julien Fontana to the memory of Frédéric Chopin for these works to survive. Mr. Fontana, incidentally, refused any form of compensation for his services. 
It has often been told that Chopin's last mazurka, or very last composition for that matter, was the Opus 68 No. 4 in F minor. In fact, more current research by Chopin scholars in particular, the scholar and author Alan Walker, in his splendid book entitled Frederick Chopin, A Life and Times, which I recommend, indicates that Chopin initially sketched that Opus 68 No. 4 mazurka in 1846, therefore three years before his death, and of course it was published posthumously. The mazurka you're about to hear, however, was composed in the summer of 1849, a few months before Chopin's death. It was, in fact, his very last composition. It is the Opus 67 number 2 in G minor. was the Chopin Mazurka Opus 67 No. 2 in G minor, composed in 1849 and published posthumously in 1855. This was performed by Marianne Kipura. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to welcoming you to our next episode in our series of Marianne's Musical Soiree. I am your host, Jane Knox, and it was a pleasure being with you.